Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Detective Atme, you were standing guard at the scene of the crime. There's no way you didn't see Mask to Mask commit the crime. Well now, I can hardly see why you're so positive about that. I miss this music. This is nice. Yes, indeed I was guarding the warehouse, that much is true. But I can tell you for certain that not a single person passed through that door. Imagine a good remix of this. Oh, there's some good ones. I'm sure. Don't look them I'm up. not going to, because you'll probably be like, this person spoiler. in the latest game had like 12. <laughs> <laughs> if they did, that'd be insane. The screen gets small, it's just like... Phew. I actually really want to see that. That would be cool. <laughs> because I, I think I mentioned this in the last game, the number of psych locks doesn't determine how difficult they are to unlock. It, yeah. it determines... The, the one with old bag with five, it was just There's like... Four. Beep, 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 like, just instantly got left. Yeah, yeah, the number of psych locks they have determines how badly they want to keep the secret from you. He's like, I don't really care. Like, why? <laughs> I'm not sure why, but this at me guy is lying through his teeth. I know. I'll show him some proof. Detective at me, I have here proof that someone went through the door last night. Oh, yeah, we got the proof. It was that, um, photo thing that was like, this is the number of people. Camera data. Yeah, yeah the camera data. That's it. <laughs> it's just going! <laughs> How very interesting that you would present such a thing to me, Luke at me, Ace Detective. Unfortunately, it is meaningless. You need to go home, take a long cold shower, and get a good night's rest, Sir Lawyer. Cold shower or terrible? I guess that's a miss. Yeah, we got the camera data from your computer. There was a security camera set up at the scene of the crime. It should have automatically taken a photo of anyone that went through that door. Precisely. I hope you don't mind, but I've already, we've already gotten our hands on the camera data. As you can see, the camera went off exactly once last night. Uh... What? But, but my monocle didn't catch anything in its flash. It must be some kind of computer malfunction. It, it must be. Maybe it was your monocle that malfunctioned. What? What? Are you saying that I didn't do my duty properly? Yeah. Detective Atme, you must have seen the thief last night. The question is, why are you trying to hide it? If he's hiding it, there must be some reason. Could some reason him. that he desperately wants to keep hidden. And I've got just the piece of evidence that should prove it. Okay, let's suppose you didn't manage to see Mask to Mask. In that case, the reason you didn't at the time of the crime was because you were fast asleep, using the bathroom, unconscious. All of them work! No, no. Um, well... Do you know what it's like to be at 2 a.m. in the morning and you really have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> it's bad. No, see, here's the thing. It only went off one time. He would have had to go into the room. He wasn't in the room. He was, like, hiding outside looking. Well, that's stupid in the first place. Okay, <laughs> yeah, it is. if he's outside looking... Yeah, any of these are possible. I don't know which one... I really want to just use Susie in the bathroom. We have to do it. <laughs> Alright. I'm afraid that making a guess is not enough. Time to put your money where your mouth is. Show me your evidence. <laughs> we have to give evidence that he was using the bathroom. You <laughs> use the urn! And then it's a chamber so pot! <laughs> and you were so... That would be... <laughs> May I give you a piece of good advice, Sir Lawyer? W what is it? That would be the most <laughs> hilarious twist if it was like, it was used, we can't put this back in the mix yet. <laughs> <laughs> a guess is not the same as a theory. Not scientifically, anyway. You need to go home, take a long cold okay. shower, and get a good night's rest, sir lawyer. Uh, I was oh. so open. Okay. Um, well... This actually, I think, is the trickiest one lock to open. The other two... They, they, they said it was 2 in the morning when it happened? It was like either late 1 a.m. or early 2 a.m. 1 in the morning. I think either is possible, but the sword was used to hit something, and I think that might mean he was unconscious. Mm, good guess. I'm afraid that making a guess is not enough. Time to put your money where your mouth is. Show me your evidence. You are 100% right. Oh, sweet. Nice. The first one wasn't. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> Detective Atme, you were knocked unconscious by the thief, weren't you? Ha ha ha! Surely you must be joking. You think that I, Luke Atme, could be knocked unconscious so easily? This sword proves it. Th that's... 
Before the theft, this sword was in the hand of the statue of Amifei. Furthermore, at that time, it was not bent. Ah, uh, uh, There's only one explanation. You were struck on the head and knocked unconscious by this sword. Well, detective, what about it? I'm impressed. You truly are an ace attorney. Yeah! Okay. Unlock successful. Oh, but we didn't get our points! Oh no, but we, we didn't lose any save, save states. Save yeah. I can't deny that there may be a small hint of truth in what you say. So, you were knocked out when the thief first clobbered you? Clobber? What an ugly way of saying it, but I suppose you could put it that way. The coward struck at the precise moment that I turned to look at the computer. So you never noticed that the thief had entered the warehouse? No, the coward must have wormed his way in through somewhere besides the door. Perhaps the air ducts or the sewer pipes. That would make sense, because there was a weird... <laughs> Behind the statue, there was that little light. Maybe, like, someone went through there. Hmm. I don't know. Then my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with this gruesome item here. Ouch, he should have his poor head examined. You can say that again. How could he have underestimated the thief that badly? Should Shito update it in the court record? Well, it looks like we got one theme cleared up anyway. Huh? What? That Atme is the greatest dete ace detective in the world? No, that he never actually saw the thief. Oh, that's right! So the thief may not have even been masked to mask. Just one moment, sir lawyer. The thief was unquestionably masked to mask. But you never actually saw him! Perhaps so, but I installed a security camera for just such a contingency. Why didn't you say that sooner? Oh. Last night the camera went off exactly once. Behold, this is a photo of the dastardly thief taken by the security camera. Th that's him! He looks too skinny. Are you are you saying Rondelite is fat? No, but I'm saying his legs look too skinny. He also looks too tall. In my opinion. Mm -hmm. Also, the costume looks too big. <laughs> Wait, no, that doesn't make any what? sense. No, I'm, I'm taking a look. There's a box. Hold in a box. Yeah, he's holding the box. The paint has now. already spilt. And... Wearing a hat? Does he normally wear a hat? That looks yeah. too nice of a hat. Okay. Well, I mean, Ron Delight's not wearing it, but he's also not wearing the mask right now. Alright. Thank you, black and white photo. Security of camera photo added to the court record. The thief can be none other than the arch-criminal Mask to Mask. After all, he has a very good reason for committing such brazen crimes. Well, what are you talking about? Great. So, what did you mean by he had a very good reason? Exactly that. Mr. Delight had a very good reason to dress up and commit those crimes. There should be a green envelope somewhere in his room. You'll need to go and investigate. What? What if he planted it and it was just like, I wrote and like copied the handwriting or whatever? <laughs> How would you know about that? Hmm. Have you forgotten? You're speaking to the finest ace detective ever to walk on the face of the earth. The most brilliant mind since, well, ever! Look at me! <sighs> well, I guess we'd better go take a look, just in case. So we're at the point where we probably should end the video here. However, I know we don't have that much investigation left, so... Yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> Hey. Oh, wow. Hey, Nick! Remember what Detective Atme said? Like two seconds ago? Exactly. Exactly that! that. Mr. Good. Delight had a very good reason to dress up. <laughs> Why did they put so many flashbacks? I don't know. My favorite flashback was from the first game, where it's just the flashback to Valkyrie. Like, there were two witnesses! <laughs> it's just that one part. A green envelope, huh? It looks like this is it. Okay, let's have a look! If you don't want your true identity revealed to the world, come to the KB security at 1 a.m. on October 12th and bring $50,000. The, the 50000 This is a blackmail letter. It sure looks like a major clue, all right. Blackmail letter added to the court record. It's Von Karma. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll be right back. Won't take but a second, I promise. Oh, thank you for coming. That's so nice of you. 
When I see a damsel in distress, I just can't help myself. Please, come on in. Oh, please let it be Larry. Please let it be Larry. I'll make some coffee. Really? Okay, I guess I'll make myself at home, pretty lady. Please, please, please. please Wait a minute. Please, please, I know that please. voice. Oh, Nikki boy, I'm so sorry, but I've got another guest. Ah! You! You're... Yes! It's you! Yes! And mine yes! too! What a fluke! Ah! Uh, Larry! Long time no see! What? You know each other? N nikki boy? Nick! What do you and this girl have, you know, something going on? S something If you mean what I think, I underestimated you, Nick! <laughs> a gorgeous lady like this? And married too? Free to go, dude! I knew it. Just when fiends can't get any worse, it's time to cue in the butts. Yes! <laughs> we're so happy he's here. What's with his uniform? <laughs> I think we're about to find out. Larry Butts, ever since grade school, he's been... Not exactly a close friend, but yeah, we know each other. Hey man, that wasn't nice! I was your very first client! <laughs> it's been 25 years since I first met Larry. And what, what we used to say still rings true. When something smells, oh, it's Phoenix. usually the butts. That's a typo, because they met in grade school, and Phoenix is 25. Oh. <laughs> we met when we were born, man! <laughs> Supposed to say 15? Um, 15, 17, something like that. Okay. Hey, come on now, you're embarrassing me! In front of this pretty little thing here! So you two are old childhood friends, I see. That's so sweet. You two go on ahead and catch up on old times. I'm gonna go check on my bike. She just left us alone in her house. She doesn't even know us! <laughs> Nice girl, Aunt Desi. So, how you been, Nick? Alright, she knows Larry. I'm too busy if you really want to know. She's like, okay, these are your friends, it's fine. We just trash the place. <laughs> Basically. So, what have you been up to this whole time? It's been two years since I heard from Here's you. Here's the other thing that I just realized. What? There was a green envelope just laying out, like, just laying out there, and she's like, oh, you can open it, it's fine. <laughs> like, it's in her house. Yeah, it's, I don't know. She's weird. <laughs> and what's with these clothes? You look, well, weird. Hey man, that's a cold for! This is my uniform for my part-time job! No longer selling hot dogs, huh? <laughs> but I can't believe it's been two years. They say time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> What's wrong? Nick, I gotta tell you. Women, I don't trust them anymore. You got dumped again? Well, you know Benifer. I followed her all the way to Tibet two years ago. <laughs> that's where I met the famous Caddy Tom, and my whole life changed. Benifer, Caddy Tom, I've Benifer. never heard of either of them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, dude, Caddy Tom chose Hollywood over me! Can you believe it? Well, actually... Anyway, sounds like you've had quite the adventure. Women! They're so, so, ah! Oh, but, but you're different, Maya. You're not like the rest. Looks like he's still the same old Larry. <laughs> Still doesn't say what his uniform is. So, what are you doing here anyway? Huh? What do you mean by that? I'm just a natural born nice guy, that's all. Well, actually, I picked up this last night while I was working. A wallet? You say you found this last night? <gasps> wait, 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 I bet! Oh, never mind, I thought he pulled her over. <laughs> I thought that he became a policeman, pulled her over, and he's like, oh, what? <laughs> and then, like, found her later. <laughs> yeah, it had a driver's license in it, so I figured I'd just return it myself. Ron's wallet added to the court oh, record. Oh, Ron's? Hang on. Let me see that for a minute. I knew it. Desi's picture is in here. Yeah, I guess he really digs his wife, huh? <laughs> you can't do that. Hey, Nick! It's not what you're thinking at all! No, I'm pretty sure it is. You haven't changed a bit. <laughs> oh, no way, man! I mean, she's a married woman! That's just bad news. He really is just here to check out Miss Delight. So, you said you found it at your job, right? Yeah, I'm working for a private security company as a guard. That's convenient. <laughs> Chicks just love a guy in uniform, you know? A security guard, huh? So that's what that uniform is all about. <sighs> Larry, I feel like would be the worst security guard. He would. He'd be like, <laughs> you guys, I'm just gonna go out and get a hot dog real quick. And then he comes back and, like, the entire place is invaded. <laughs> so what time was it when you found this last night? Huh? Why are you asking me that? Trying to see if I've got an alibi? Um, you're not the one on the hook for a crime this time, buddy. I guess it was around 1 o'clock in the morning on the first floor of our company building. What was Mr. Delight's wallet doing there? Anyway, there's nothing weird about that. After all, he works there. He works there? You mean Mr. Delight? 
Sure. Here, take a look at this. It's right here in his wallet. What's this card? It's a key card for the security company. Hey, it's got a serial number on it right there. There's no mistake about it. You said you were working part-time at a security company, right? That's right. Why are you making that scary face? Security company, huh? Something's not quite secure about Larry working there. I need to find out as much as I can about this key card. Key card edits the court record. <laughs> Alright, well, first rule of talking to Larry Bucks, yep. show him every female's portrait. <laughs> also mine. You're 26 years old, right? Don't you think it's about time you took a long, hard look at your life? Coming from a guy who can only brag about how many times he's been rejected, I find that kind of ironic. Show me a... Hey, I remember her! That's Maya's big sister! Wow, you really do remember! Yeah, who could forget? A couple of gorgeous sisters. Hubba hubba! <laughs> you hear that, Nick? Gorgeous! Oh yeah, that's right. When I defended Larry, Mia was still alive. Wow, you're even cuter than last time I saw you! Oh, really? Yeah, you look totally different than two years ago. Don't you think, Nick? Maybe it's because we're always together, but she looks pretty much the same to me. <laughs> she does. Pearl? Oh yeah, Pearl! Oh, what a cutie! Hey, Nick, so what's the deal between you and this girl? Hey, that's my cousin! Her name's Pearl Faye! Pearl, huh? Too bad. Never date two girls with the same name. That's one rule I can't break. <laughs> I think the fact that she's only nine years old would break some rule somewhere. <laughs> oh, Adrian Andrews. Whoa! Who is this? Come on, man, don't hold out on me. She looks like Zero Suit Samus. <laughs> Forget about it. It's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Hey, now! I thought we were pals. I got a major thing with girl girls with black sleeveless shirts and glasses. <laughs> How do you know that? <laughs> If they have an orange-colored memo pad, I'd really lose my cool. He has to be making that up. He can't really know Adrian, can he? <laughs> Larry, what about this person? Beats me. What the? All of a sudden, he's got nothing to say. Okay, wait, move to the next page. Oh. I just thought of something. What if it's actually a hot chick under that costume? That's what I thought. Forget about it. It's a guy. Trust me. Man, you killed my buzz, dude! Boy, talk about someone who's one track mind. See, that's actually what I thought. I thought it was his wife. Ah, that, in the costume. Because I mean, it looked different. Oh, he doesn't know at me. Yeah, uh, Check show, it out. Show off the wife. <laughs> that Desi is one awesome lady, alright. It's been a long time since I felt this way. I think I'm really in love this time. Everybody's got that one friend who is in and out of a relationship, like, every year, it seems. I don't. I don't, have, I don't but there's, like, that cliche where it's like, oh, they're gonna In the be movies, this. maybe. In the movies and in real life. I, have, I don't know personally a person like that, but I have, like, friends of friends and stuff. I don't know. Long time, huh? Yeah. Well, er, except for what I feel for you, Maya. I don't think even he knows what he's saying anymore. Larry, look 25. At, look at Larry. Even you could learn a few tricks from me, Nick. Yeah? Like what? Look at my hair, for example. It points up straight, right? But your hair, on the other hand, points backwards. That's no good at all, man. It's defeatist. You gotta aim high for the stars. I... I can't find a counter-argument to that. <laughs> yeah. Do your hair different, man. So, you're sure about this keycard? Yup, that's the keycard they use at the building I work in. According to the serial number, this one is for the CEO's office. You need it to get into the room, and every time you use the card, it leaves a record. It leaves a record? Yeah, it tells you exactly who entered the room and when. Larry, I need that data. Whoa, slow down, man. Sorry, but that data's off limits to outsiders. If I lost this job, I'd never have a chance with Desi. It's times like these when I wish lawyers weren't so powerless. Keycard updated in the court record. Okay, well, show him, uh... Sure. You didn't touch anything in the wallet, did you? Hey, man! Be serious! You know what I was interested in! 
<laughs> if Mask Mask doesn't look out, he's going to be the victim of a robbery himself. <laughs> hey, Larry, what about this? What? If you've got something to say, then say it already. Huh? A blackmail letter? Do you know anything about this? W what I don't know anything about Alexis, and that's the truth! Huh? What? I, I can't believe you do this to me! I thought you were my friend! Fifty thousand dollars? I don't have that kind of money! He thought you- No, was no! Dead. You don't understand! This blackmail letter is for sent to Ron Delight. Whew! Man, you scared me! I almost had a heart attack, you idiot! Wait, I'm the idiot? Man, I was totally confused because it says KB Security right on the envelope. Um, yeah, so what? That's where I've got a part-time job! At KB Security! What? what Sounds like I really should find out some more about the KB Security Company. It's from KB Security? Or it's addressed to KB Security? It says go to KB Security and bring $50,000. It's here. <laughs> okay. KB Security, the company and the blackmail letter. You know about it? That's where I work! Yeah! In fact, I'm on the job right now. Huh? So what are you doing here then? Well, the boss is always way right now, and you know what mice do when the cat's away. Yes, yes. <sighs> anyway, how far away is this company? Let me see. About 30 minutes by car, I guess. Well, if you fly down the road anyway. Huh. Hmm. Well, this apartment building is pretty close to Lord to be Taylor, right? And it would take roughly an hour to go from here to KB Security and back. If Rob the Light was at KB Security when the robbery occurred, then... Maybe! Mm -hmm. What? I got... I think the two delights are in on something. I think he went somewhere, and then she would... Because she got a speeding ticket speeding down the road. Maybe she was like, okay, I found this letter, and I need to, like, figure out... So you think she went to the security building, and he stole the urn? Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Maybe. Whoa! Then he couldn't have stolen the sacred urn! Oh, Nick, your phone! H hello Is this the right residence? Ah! Pearls! Where are you? Uh, I thought I'd go to the Lord Nick Taylor to try and find some more clues, but I'm afraid I've gotten lost. What?! Give me that phone, Nick! Pearly, where are you right now? Um, I was walking along and I found myself in front of that person's office. That person? Who? Um, that person who doesn't act his age and always says Zvari when he's excited. Luke at me, Ace Detective. Okay, stay right there. <laughs> okay, stay right there. We're coming to get you. All right, I'm a little scared. He's got all this chemistry equipment, and it's gonna blow up. Also, his fireplace is cold, which is freaking <laughs> which is me weird. out. <laughs> all right, let's go, Maya. Wait a second, Nick. What? What? That phone call just now sounded like a real cutie. Another one of your <clears throat> special friends. <laughs> Say goodbye to Miss Delight for me, would you, Larry? He's like, what? And then we're like, I, I missed Larry. October I swear, 12th if this dude does anything agency. to Pearls, I'm going to lose my mind. Ah! Mr. Nick! Miss Sigmaya! Pearly! I never thought I'd see the two of you again! She knew our phone number, though, so that's good. So is Mr. Ace Detective out of the office? Yes, when I arrived here. There wasn't a single soul in sight. But he left the door unlocked? We'll all just walk in here. He's not the brightest bulb, apparently. Neither is Pearl. You don't walk into someone's house. Or <laughs> detective office. agency. <laughs> Say, Nick, doesn't it look like something's changed since we were last here? Yeah, there's a brief Now that you mention it. Ha ha ha. It has $50,000 in it. <laughs> you just, like, brain the money. Luke's got the money. Money. <laughs> <laughs> this bag. This oh. bag. I'm sure it wasn't here before. It looks quite full. I wonder what could it be in here. Hey, Nick. Come on. Open it up. Hey, wait a minute. We can't just open his private property. Don't be such a fuddy-duddy. This is an important investigation. That's true. And truth to be told, I have to admit, I am kind of curious. Well, what's in there? H hang on a sec. I'm taking it out now. Whatever it is, it feels He's gonna pop around the kind of hard like, and smooth. smooth. Well, hello there! <laughs> I was right. Ah! He's here! 
What are you doing, Sir Lawyer? I'm shocked to see a servant of the court ignoring the law so flagrantly. I I'm really sorry, but Maya made me do it! <laughs> Nick, I can't believe you! A gentleman never uses a lady as an excuse for his own poor behavior. The real question is, can you afford to waste time lollygagging about here? Can you afford $50,000? <laughs> I want to see, like, a gif of Mugami just, like, throwing money in the air. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Perhaps I should make myself more clear. Tomorrow's trial. Zvari. Shall we say the figurative? Sir William will be dropping his patties before lunchtime. What? Wow, Nick. Sounds like it's going to be really exciting. Um, can I still look at that briefcase? <laughs> Let's try it. Touch it! Yes! <laughs> so what's in there, Nick? What's in the back? The way Atme barged in like that, <gasps> I never actually got the chance to look. I know. I thought I was going to collapse in shock, too. From the feel of it, it was something hard. Something hard and smooth. Maybe it's gold. <laughs> Solid. They said, they said Solid 000. gold. Okay. They said fifty thousand dollars. It could be fifty thousand dollars of gold. It could be. That's not a lot of gold. <laughs> is that not a lot of gold? I mean, gold's pretty valuable. It depends. Maybe it is. It depends on the gold. Um, what's going to happen tomorrow at the trial that's so dramatic? I will flip <laughs> my hair. <laughs> it just flies. I will. Side. I will not gel my hair. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just in his eyes the whole time. He looks Dude. like he looks like a mop. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what your biggest mistake so far has been, Sir Lawyer? It was becoming a lawyer in the first place. Ouch. That certainly doesn't sound. That certainly does sound like a big mistake, Mr. Nick. Tomorrow would be a day to remember. I, look at me, will take the stand. And then, Zvari, my testimony will prove to be the undoing of the lot of you. Who's our prosecutor? We haven't run into them at all. We yeah, haven't. That's true. Yes, all of you. I will unmask you as the thief's co-conspirators. Normally we run into the prosecutor by now. Conspirators? We didn't run into Francisca in case two. Or Edgeworth in case two. Oh, I guess that's <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. You're quick on the defensive, I see. However... It is not I that is your greatest enemy. There is a far more dangerous threat that you will face tomorrow during the trial. What are you talking about? Sir Lawyer, if you truly are who you say, I'm sure you've heard of him. His name is Godot. Godot? Godot? Maybe that's the, the prosecutor. Is he a robot? <laughs> <laughs> you've taken a step down this path of foolishness. Outsmart the robot and you can outsmart anything. <laughs> to try to defend a career criminal who deserves nothing less than the death penalty. Hey! Last time I checked, no one knows for sure that Mr. Delight really is Damask. <laughs> My dear lady, times may change, but people sadly do not. Well, you will understand this when you are more mature. She's 18, so... Um, who is this Godot person? It's not surprising that a spirit medium has not heard the name. Godot, the prosecutor whose equal cannot be found in this country, but in heaven. He just comes in wearing angel wings. Whoa! Every prosecutor is weird in some way. <laughs> Godot, a legend or myth, men pin a lifetime of hopes on the chance to simply meet him. I really hope it's cool. Prosecutor? But the best prosecutor in the country isn't Godot, it's Mr. Edgeworth! Isn't that right, Nick? It's no surprise that a spirit medium such as yourself would not know anything of this. But Mr. Ace Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth is currently traveling abroad. Going to Europe, hanging out, having fun. Huh? In fact, it was Mr. Edgeworth who acknowledged Godot as the best in this country. And you agree with that? Most certainly. In fact, you could call him the Luke Atme of the Prosecutor's Office. Well, that's good to hear. The prosecution has a fighting chance tomorrow. Mr. Nick, is this Godot really that strong? Hmm, I seem to remember hearing about someone like that. Not surprising. Some people spend their entire lives idly waiting for his appearance. Looks like we've done investigating for the day. <laughs> I'll, I'll say this. Okay, two things I want to say. One, no Let's Player I've ever seen has ever pronounced his name correctly. They always say, like, Godot. Godot or Gado. It's Godot, like, waiting for Godot. <laughs> oh. Second all, but of that all, would be funny if it's like a match made in heaven and it's God. <laughs> God. It. Second all, I'll say this: Godot is easily one of the most popular prosecutors. Not, I don't. I mean, he's, he's all right. He's, he's, he's a he's disco good. man in disguise. <laughs> 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 
pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what would make him good? I don't know. Is he I just mean, like, maybe we'll see. Is he just like he's normal? Very, he's interesting. Is he like the, hi, my name's... Or no, you, you don't know. Edgeworth is the normal one. Edgeworth is the... Or Winston Payne. <laughs> oh, no! I'm Toad! Looks like I we're done. Like Toad! <laughs> Looks like we're done investigating for the day. <laughs> Sir Lawyer, the stage has been set and all the pieces are finally in place. All that remains now is for the dance to begin. The disco dance! I was right! <laughs> <laughs> a new prosecutor, an ace detective, and a thief. This will be one tough trial. Eh, it'll be fine. I just realized he has four <laughs> buttons on his cuff. Cufflinks, they're called. Cufflinks, sorry. <laughs> to be continued. That's like four buttons. That's like two more buttons than a normal person would have. <laughs> what if you had them all the way up your sleeve and just like... <laughs> mm -hmm. That would be weird. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I might split this into two episodes that in editing. That would be okay. Because I think this fine. is around an hour and I like yeah. to keep them half hour a piece. Do that. So, but I had a blast recording this. Yeah, Tomorrow's great. trial, we get to meet Godot, and it makes me very happy we're not playing it on the DS because his face is on the box. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyhow, That's good. I, I I think you'll enjoy him. I, I mean, I like Godot, but I think he's overrated. But okay. I won't spoil anything that I'm at. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.